Hello, 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 everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. This video is a subscriber request, which I love. Jay Powell asked in the comments section of a recent video about how to categorize and enter their vehicle lease payments in QuickBooks Online. So there are two common types of lease accounting options, operating lease and a capital lease. A capital lease or a finance lease is treated like an asset on a company's balance sheet, while an operating lease is an expense that remains off the balance sheet. Think of a capital lease as more like owning a piece of property, and think of an operating lease as more like renting a piece of property. So when it comes to a vehicle lease, if you plan to get into a newer vehicle when the lease is up, which is common for many business owners with families or larger businesses that provide company vehicles to employees, this would be considered an operating lease. If you plan to buy out the car after the lease ends, then this would be considered a capital lease. Something to consider when questioning how to account for this. For the sake of this example, let's treat this like an operating lease. First things first is you're gonna need to set up the vehicle lease expense account in your chart of accounts. So head over to your accounting tab and open the chart of accounts screen. Click the green new button, then select the account type as other expenses and select the detail type as vehicle lease. From here, you can name the account and type a description. I personally like to keep the accounts basic and simple. If you name the account Honda lease and trade in your leased car on a Toyota, then you'll have to go back and change it later or add a new expense account named after the new make and model, which is just unnecessary. I always recommend leaving the chart of accounts simple and letting your receipts, documentation, and transaction details speak for themselves. If you are paying for your lease via check, go to the expenses screen and click the green new transaction button and select check. Your vehicle payee details should already be in the system, but if this is your first payment on your new lease, you may need to add them in. The easiest way to get to the new vendor screen is through Add Payee when nothing populates in the Payee dropdown. Click Add and enter in all the details possible. You may need your lease documents on hand for this and you can scan the documents and attach the records to the vendor by clicking the attachments link. I highly recommend doing this since you'll need all the records for tax time. Once the vendor data is all entered, click the green Save button. Now enter the check details, category as vehicle lease, describe briefly what the check is for, and enter the amount. If all looks good, click in the center the print check text. This will open the check setup screen. Select the check style you placed in your printer, either a voucher or a standard sheet, and then continue by clicking yes, I am finished with setup. Select the check you wish to print and enter the check number of the check you put in your printer and click the green preview and print button. The preview screen shows exactly what will be printed on the check. Make sure all the information is correct. If you're using a voucher check, then you'll have three sections, the check itself, payee check detail, and on the bottom is the check record you as the business owner will hold on to. Vouchers come with proofrated sections for easy removal. If you're not paying with a check and you are paying your payments online or through a bank draft ACH, then to categorize these payments, you'll head over to the bank feed. Find the transaction from your vehicle credit company and select the category of that transaction as vehicle lease. 
If you need more of an overview on how to categorize transactions in the bank feed, watch my tutorial on it. And if you have a video request, make sure to leave them in the comments below. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. For even more behind-the-scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. If you need more assistance, personal financial coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.